ho neighborinos. Welcome to Cybersecurity for Civilians 03B. The topic for this very short video course is going to be backing your stuff up, uh, specifically to an external hard drive. In a previous video, I did talk about the necessity of backing your stuff up. Just take it as a given that your computer is going to go belly up someday. Uh, and I did say unequivocally that if you have to make a choice between backing your stuff up off-site versus on-site, uh, you really should choose off-site uh, slash online slash in the cloud. However, uh, in my previous live presentations on cybersecurity for seniors, I did have some people express a preference for backing up to an external drive. So uh, due to their request, I went ahead and showed them uh, the simple and easy way to do it. So here we go, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, just so we're clear, the only stuff that you really can't recover if your PC or phone goes belly up is gonna be documents and photos and maybe software licenses. Um, I've given some further thought on that and probably you don't have to worry that much about software licenses. You just want to make sure that they're stored somewhere. And that's really more of a, of a convenience thing. But really seriously, you got to make sure that your documents and photos are, are getting backed up. And I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, on the next slide how to back up uh, your stuff to an external drive. However, um, I do want to give you this URL, which will be in the video notes below, on how to back up and restore an image of your entire computer. Just to clarify, if you do an image, that is uh, just a full top to bottom, everything inside and out copy of your computer. Uh, and it would take you uh, probably a couple of hours at least to get that done. What I'm going to show you is just how to do a quick and easy backup to an external drive uh, of the stuff that just really seriously um, could not be recovered if your computer went belly up. Okay, in the previous slide, okay, I gave you a website slide. link for step-by-step -step instructions on how to back up everything on your laptop and desktop. Uh, now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on a quick and easy backup if you choose to use a, an external drive um, for backing up your stuff. Uh, so very simply, oh, and by the way, you probably would want to do this uh, maybe once a month, maybe more often if you have a, a lot of new documents on a regular basis. Um, the image, the instructions that I gave you on the previous slide, you probably would want to do that maybe twice a year because uh, that is a very, very involved process. So anyway, let me go show you real quick. Uh, this folder icon on the bottom of your window here is called File Explorer. Click on that and that shows you all of the drives that are on your computer here, including my OneDrive, obviously. And then... I'm going to show you a neat trick here. Uh, do hit the Windows key on your keyboard and hit the left button, uh, left arrow button at the same time. You now have a left window here. Go down here to uh, File Explorer again. Right click and do File Explorer. Now you have two windows and then you hold down the Windows key and you do the right arrow button. And now you have two windows side by side. I'm going to plug in the external drive that we're going to use for the demonstration it takes a moment to recognize that we do have a, uh, a drive here yep hear that noise and see over here here is my passport here's all the folders in it so let's pretend that this uh let's pretend that uh, i have a, a a document here that I need to save. You, if you're doing uh, if you're doing this, you might want to set apart a folder uh, for stuff for you to save on a regular basis. But all you gotta do, say, is uh, find a folder that you're going to save into. 
you go uh, key stuff here and then you can just do uh, you can copy you can copy or you can just uh, click and drag either way but you can copy and come over here and then do another right click and paste and there's my document it's saved in the external drive it really is that easy uh, once again, I'd recommend you do this um, at least once a month if this is the route you're going to take. So that is it for 03B, short and hopefully sweet. And since we're done with this course, you know what that means. It means it is time to move on to the next course which is going to be a whole host of freebies, some cybersecurity freebies to help keep you safe. Hope to see you there.